Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. I am Veos, and we are continuing on with our Duna survival mission. Or, colonize the solar system. Oh, wait, it's early in the morning. You guys have got to see this. Let me turn on my really crappy camera here for a second. <laughs> Sundays, am I right? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Let's get back to Duna. Okay, we're going to transfer crew and equipment over to the new truck and get rid of this one. Go ahead and undock. There we go. All right, now we connected the two. We can transfer things over. Transfer over the fuel. Now, for the new truck, I actually put on this uh, micro landing strut, and that was because of the fact that if it ever flipped over by any chance, we could use this as a kind of a lift. But I'm not too sure if this would actually be strong enough. So I'm going to take the landing gear that's in the back here and transfer it over to the new truck. And then I think we'll be good. I think everything on here can uh, be erased or, you know, destroyed or buried. Or we're going to pretend that it's recycled, but in reality, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. I need to kind of push this thing over the edge here and throw it into the garbage pile down there. Everything that will be erased is down there. So give it a nice good push and... Then, undock, and just slow down. There we go. All right, off into the garbage pile you go. Let me see if I can dock with this one right here. No? A little too low, huh? Oh, that's a shame. How about this? Maybe if I can just get the authority up to 100, just tilt up. There we go. So yes, this mover has done a lot for us, and it and it and it, and it's it should be put in a museum, but right now it is junk because I have a brand new mover that's a lot more capable that we need to go ahead and build. So we're gonna say goodbye and thank you to this mover, and we're gonna take some parts from it. But other than that, it's off to the junk pile. You know what? Second thought, I'll build the new mover anyway, and they can work in tandem with each other. Until finally it becomes so old that the design just needs to be replaced completely. So I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Yeah, I'm not going to throw it away. I don't know what I was talking about. Throw away a piece of history. What the hell was wrong with me? As Veo says as he ditches the truck that literally saved all their lives. <laughs> however, however, we will get rid of or take... Oh. Well, someone said that if I pull... If I take two Kerbals out here, they can do... Uh, they can pick up more stuff or heavier things. Let's see if this is a, a actual thing. All right, I'll be damned. Look at that sweetness. Put that in the back of the truck. All right, on dock, and let's go ahead and get busy. Now, each of these landers has a fuel cell on them, one of the big ones. So while they're not going to run any out of powder, pow powder, what power anytime soon? Their power isn't infinite, so we do have to eventually get these guys out of here and trash the landers. All right, we're going to take the solar panels off of this lander and put them on the factory. Looks like I can't reach any further back, so I'm going to turn around and go to the other side. There we go. All right, now that we got all of them in the back of the truck, let's go ahead and put them on the actual factory and try to boost its power. Huh, even with only two engineers, I can't, I still can't pick up the uh, rockets or mani manipulate them in any what the fuck virus and threat protection windows defender oh no you don't stop you stupid piece of program piece of da ah. windows defender i'm better than anything you have bullshit i got my system mechanic motherfucker system mechanic i swear by it it's really good it's kind of funny because of the fact that right now i've i feel like a farmer putting up a, a wire fence or something <laughs> from the back of the pickup truck <laughs> This is how we do things over here yonder. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to help with power. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to rearrange the other ones on the other side too. Try to maximize how many I can squeeze in there. There we go. And for now, we'll bring these in. We'll do it quickly so we don't run out of power. Squeeze them in as best we can. Almost there. Just a little bit. Just a little more. Actually, I think we'll take these two with us and put them somewhere else because I need some room in order to build larger buildings. These are a teeny bit little too close. All right, let's extend these real quick, get some power going. You know, one thing I did notice was that this whole array is way too close to the ground. And so when these solar panels spin, 
they scrape against the floor of the uh, well, the scrape they scrape against the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this little micro landing strut right here and try to bring the whole thing up a little bit so it doesn't do that. All right, let's see if it works. In three, two, one, extend, and oh, I mean, it's better than nothing. All right, we'll put the remaining solar panels on the side of this um, quote unquote agricultural dome. All right, let's go ahead and extend these two, and we should be pretty good with power, I think. All right, let's get rid of that octagonal strut, and there it goes. Was it going to orbit? I don't know, it's a steady speed at 26.3 meters per second. Uh-huh. Bye-bye, and thanks for all the fish. Okay, let's go ahead and build a new mover. All right, there it goes. Now, we have a productivity of 4.6. I'm going to boost that by putting more engineers in here. Let's start moving some of those people off of the landers. Now I know the fancy way would be to build something to connect to the lander and then transfer them over all nice and fancy so they have their own little seat and whatnot. Well this is survival honey. Get your spacesuit on and get the hell out of this damn lander and get your ass on top of the back of this truck so we can drive you over there old fashioned western style. Oh, what the hell's wrong with me? Uh, running out of room on the back of the truck here. Let's see if I can climb over here. And there we go. Yeah, okay, I think, uh, was it four, five, six, seven Kerbals is pretty good. Now if I drive forward, hopefully they don't all come out the back of the truck. Uh, oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute, I can't move because... That's right, this stupid thing where they're all kind of... Oh, jeez. <laughs> where they're all kind of glued to the floor. That's just perfect. So, what happened, or what I can theorize, is that there was a certain update a long time ago that, unfortunately, the Kerbal started sliding across the surface of the planet when they were standing still because of the, I guess the calculations were way off about the rotation of the planet versus the location and where the Kerbals were standing. And so in order to remedy that, instead of going back and actually fixing the problem at its core, they just decided to give all the Kerbals sticky feet. Well, the only problem with having sticky feet is that you can no longer transport them on top of a vehicle or anything of that nature. They will literally either slide right off or keep your vehicle from moving completely. And I'm not kidding about this stickiness either. I've built elevators that have really strong pistons that can move huge heavy objects up and down no problem. But as soon as a Kerbal walks on top of the elevator, suddenly the elevator can't move. It's like somebody's pressing their hand against it or something like the hand of the hand of the Kraken and it just will not move. So it, it, the little guys have literally become anchors ever since the really quick, kind of uh, lazy quick fix that uh, that happened when they when they tried to keep the Kerbals from sliding across the surface of the planet. The only way around this would be to actually put ladders on the side of the truck so each of these uh, little guys could grab onto those ladders, in which case the sticky feet application would no longer apply. So for now, in this little trip, I'm going to just go ahead and have them walk over there individually, one at a time. Let's just hope and pray that they didn't do the same thing with KSP-2 with the sticky feet syndrome as it is in KSP-1. So the idea is that if Duna, if Duna is anything like Mars, it's full of radiation, super cold, hardly any atmosphere to speak of when it comes to pressure, no air whatsoever. So while the little Kerbals here can combat the no air whatsoever and very, very, very thin pressure when it comes to atmosphere, let alone low gravity, the real question is how are they going to combat radiation? Since if Duna is anything like Mars, Mars's magnetic field is low, well, virtually it's crap. So the solar radiation is able to penetrate it. Well, actually, Mars doesn't, it's not like it doesn't have any magnetic field whatsoever there are plenty of spots on mars that have really strong really strong magnetic fields on certain areas of the surface of mars while other areas are extremely weak this would mean that our kerbals even though technically we were just looking for a flat spot could have been simultaneously looking for a area with a very very strong magnetic field this would cut out a lot of the radiation 
Oh, sounds like our drills just ran out of power. So even with all of these electric panels, it still isn't enough power to keep up production. I mean, right now they're still building. Everything's still moving like it's supposed to. But the drill stopped because they're just draining a little too much power. So in the future, when we're looking at solar power, we're going to really have to really have to stack them on for sure. Well, ever since we added the engineers, our productivity skyrocketed from 4 point something to 14.7. That's nice. Let's go ahead and finalize this build real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, no. Uh, no. I'm sorry, no. That was super cracking, and that is not happening. Because I can tell you right now, as much work as we put into this colony, it would suck having the entire colony die immediately with not having another smelter on hand. That being the case, I think the first thing that we're going to actually do is build a secondary smelter. <laughs> F5 save. So I need to do a, I need to go into the design and design me some uh, stuff. So in this colony build, I am allowed to use things like space plane hangar in order to design new vehicles and new buildings in order to be produced. Think of it as a room inside of the colony that allows for research and design. All right, so I'm gonna create a type of cargo box and then save it as is. But uh, every time I need like parts or whatnot, I can just place them on this mat right here and then produce them and then have a Kerbal engineer come and take them off and attach them to wherever they need to attach them to. So if we all remember, we had problems with putting Kerbals on the back of the, the whoops and put the Kerbals on the back of the truck. And therefore, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some bars on the truck for the Kerbals to hold on to. All right, we've just finished building the uh, little cargo box and we're gonna start taking stuff from it. All right, well, to hell with it, we'll just take everything. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna put on a uh, little remote control thing there. All right, very nice, very nice, okay, cool, cool. All right, let's see if it's working. I'll go to the remote control pusher here and signal strength from the New Horizon colony. No longer is it coming from the Colonist Lander 2, but it's actually coming from the New Horizon colony. I saw a lot of people in comments saying that the only reason why I was controlling it was from the Decopla, but this colony does not have a Decopla or Decoupler or whatever the hell you pronounce it. However, it does have a remote guidance unit, which is crucial if you want to remote control anything, as long as you have a Kerbal and a command pod attached to it without needing the Kerbin communication network or you know, constant contact with the KSC. Now, I don't know if the cupola by itself can control things by itself, but I do know that it is absolutely crucial to have a remote guidance unit attached to any command module in order to control anything remotely. And of course, this proves that point because of the fact that now it's in control of the New Horizon colony and no longer is it in control of, from the uh, colonist lander. All right, here's a good spot to dump the uh, garbage somewhat away from the colony and uh, it should disappear by itself eventually. Just go ahead and empty the, the back of the truck real quick. Easy now. Mm. All right, that should work. They are still glowing as if they were selected, but we'll just leave that alone. All right, so one of the things I wanted to try to do is to put an actual medium, I think these are medium sized, right? Um, docking port on here. So we could go ahead and transfer the crew in the future when we build like a little little rover bus of some kind. At least that's what I'm hoping for. All right, let's see if it works. Extend. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, <laughs> F5. All right, open airlock. All right, cool. That'll work. The reason why I opted for the one that expands is because I didn't want to have to build something that went up underneath in order to sort of emphasize that they're able to open up a hatch on the inside and crawl in and then move through the docking port. If it was just a docking port without this extension, then it would have looked kind of funky. So that works. Hmm. I wonder. Did this actually work? <gasps> what? What? Eh. Okay. It's a hologram. Good to know. In actuality, I think what it is is this, um, it can only attach to another one of its same part, same docking port. That's, that's what I'm guessing anyway. That kind of sucks. Oh well. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell was that? Oh no, if I let go of this, we're all dead. 
No? What the hell was that? Oh, come on, KSP. Um, okay, so I think I know what happened. I might have accidentally selected the wheel, in which case the entire uh, truck acted as if the wheel wasn't there and started falling downwards. So let's try to remedy that real quick. And let's see if this works. Okay, bring it up real good. There we go. Okay, I got this. I got it. All right, I lined it up the best I can. Yeah, I hope I hope this works. I, I think it worked. I think it worked. Oh, whoa, 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 holy sh! Oh, wow, someone got tossed out the truck. Damn, was there a fight? Are they still fighting back there? Mother suckers, stop fighting. Let's get, get the hell. Somebody break this up. We need to break this up quick. We need to break this up real quick. Break it up. Break it up. Break it up. Break it up. I know. I know it's stressful, okay? New colony. World destroyed. It gets to us all, all right? But unless we stick together, we ain't gonna make it as a species. You got that? Now put your freaking emotions in your back pocket. Let's get to work. All right, let's drive over here and pick up the poor guy they got. The poor guy that was in the wrong place at the wrong time between those two. Oh, they're fighting again? Mother suckers, stop you, you son of a bi- Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're fighting again. Oh, wow, she threw his ass out of the damn truck. Good grief, people. People. I'm gonna have to put you in timeout. This is ridiculous. All right, I don't want any fights anymore. I'm taking you to the colony, and that's final. All right, everybody off the truck. Off the truck. Get off the truck. Let's go, one at a time. Don't push. Don't fight. Now, of course, I know why they were, you know, fighting, and it's because of the fact that the the, the stairs or the the handlebars were too close to each other. So I guess they were one of them was swapping in and out between them, and they got glitched together. But still, I love the fact that, that little that little glitch happened because it looked like they were fighting, like like throwing real blows, and people were flying off the back of the pickup truck. And it's like, well, that would be understandable. In a, in a situation like that, in a situation like this, that would be understandable, right? You know, tempers would flare, people would be like, the morale would be kind of low. I say kind of low, it'd be probably be shitty as hell. But still, in the end, you know, you would have people that would, that would get on each other's nerves and fight. So you'd have to have some sort of way of regulating that. And that's that's just realistic. And every every way that I can think of, that's just very, very realistic. You're gonna have uh, that kind of confrontation in this kind of this kind of environment. Well, sadly we didn't get a whole lot done today, uh, other than upgrading the colony and taking some Kerbals out of the uh, colonist lander. But um, uh, yeah, if it wasn't for that the little oopsie that I did blowing up the whole side of the colony and killing everybody basically um then i would have gotten a little further but that's all the time i have for today uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel this series is actually is actually really fun and it's 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 getting there it uh, i can't wait to start actually building the colony you know a lot of things have to happen first but we're getting there all right everyone uh, love you all. Please take care. And if you liked what you see, uh, consider subscribing and clicking on that bell notification. I download every day, of course, unless something important happens and I'm not able to. But pretty much download every day and mostly KSP videos in the morning. And if I have time, other types of games uh, late in the afternoon. But yeah, thank you so much for watching again. I am Veos and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye. Man, she was really throwing some blows. Man, she was throwing some blows. <laughs>